Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Katerina and I'm an English teacher from Canada. Today, with the help of Marshall, we have a vocabulary lesson for you all about cats. I hope you will enjoy it. If you're a cat lover like me, you are bound to learn all sorts of new vocabulary. So So Marshall is an indoor cat. That means he spends uh, most of his life indoors, inside the house or the apartment where he lives. He is an indoor cat. The opposite would be an outdoor cat. An outdoor cat has the freedom to go in and out as they please. Uh, of course, it's possible for an outdoor cat to live strictly outside, maybe if you have a farm or something like this. Uh, usually in the city, if we say we have an outdoor cat, that means they have the freedom to go in and out as they please. Where we live, uh, it's very busy. There's a lot of cars. It's a really busy neighborhood in Toronto. So I cannot allow him to be an outdoor cat. However, I want him to have, you know, a full life and go and see the bugs and the birds and get sunlight. So I got a harness for him. So I take him outside for walks. When he was a baby, I trained him to uh, tolerate the harness. A lot of cats will refuse to wear it. They don't like to walk on a leash. Uh, cats are so independent that way. But anyways, <laughs> so yeah, that's indoor and outdoor cats. A cat that lives outside but is not taken care of by people is not an outdoor cat. These cats are called stray cats or feral cats. Cat shelters are temporary homes for stray cats while they wait to be adopted. Let's take a look at Marshall's physical body. As you can see, he is covered in hair. The same like a human, mammals have hair. When we talk about it on an animal, we usually say fur. So he's got uh, such soft fur. You could also call it his coat. Marshall has such a silky and healthy coat. When this fur comes off his body and it's on our clothing, we tend to say hair. Oh, my yoga pants are covered in hair. What a surprise. His cat hair is everywhere. So if you look at his face, he's got really big ears. He's got a little nose. This front part of the cat's body is called the muzzle, the muzzle. And from there, you can see his whiskers, this kind of hair that comes out from the muzzle. That's his whiskers. Cats also have whiskers, Marshall. Cats also have whiskers on the back of their front paws. I noticed that right here, he has whiskers and whiskers help the cat to navigate their world and get around. It's almost like an extra sense for them. So that's very interesting. From his body, he's got four limbs. Limbs are like the arms and legs that come out of the torso. So on a cat, you could call it the front legs or the hind legs. Hind means back. So his back legs and front legs. Now take a look at his paw. So humans have hands, animals have paws. And on his paws, he's got little pillows. They're very soft like a pillow and it helps him to land when he's jumping, for example. The nails on a cat are called claws. So cats can retract their claws. And lastly, this part of the cat's body, that's called the tail, the tail. Uh, the tail actually has a very important uh, role for a cat. It helps them to balance. So if you've ever noticed, cats are excellent balancers on really, really 
thin and narrow surfaces, the tail is what allows them to do that. When a cat communicates, we generally just call this a meow. So the cat is meowing. That's just the normal sound that cats make, meow. When a cat is really happy, that is called purring. So when they make that sound, when they're really happy and con content with something. Oh, I was really hoping to demonstrate, but Marshall has gone, of course. The action of going like this <laughs> on your cat or on your dog, it's called to pet. I am petting my invisible cat. <laughs> Next, I would like to show you some of Marshall's things around my apartment. Let's take a look at his feeding. Feeding is giving someone else food. So me being his owner, I feed him. He's got two bowls, one bowl for food and one bowl for water, water. Cats generally have two kinds of food, dry food and wet food. This is dry food. It can also be called kibble kibble. It's crunchy and dry. Wet food comes in cans, usually. Wet food is soft food. From wet food, cats get a lot of their water intake. Wet food. And lastly are his treats. Treats are foods that are not eaten very often. They're very delicious. Here is something called a food puzzle or a slow feeder. Sometimes cats eat very fast. If you have a cat, you know that they like to gobble things down very quickly. And sometimes this causes the food to come up. This is called to throw up. For this reason, people will get puzzles like this, uh, also called slow feeders. You put the food inside the puzzle and the cat has to work to open the puzzle and figure out how to get the food. Next, let's talk about grooming. Grooming is taking care of one's appearance, like taking care of your hair and of your nails. So grooming for a cat, what do you do to take care of your cat's appearance? I have here some of his accessories for grooming. So here I have his pet shampoo. I like to buy the shampoo that is fragrance free. You can see there on the bottle, fragrance free means it has no smell. I think this is important for cats that have really sensitive smell. This is his towel. Here are his brushes. I've got two different brushes. He really loves both of them. As you can see, they've got different bristles. This part of the brush is called the bristles. And lastly, for his grooming, I have his uh, scissors to cut his nails. Marshall is getting his treat. Guys, take a look at my balcony. Can you see a uh, little paw prints out there? So absolutely crazy for these treats. Next, I'd like to show you Marshall's carrier. So for uh, his carrier, we got a backpack. See, it's got handles like a backpack and the kitty goes inside. You can unzip here. The kitty will go inside. He's got many windows and many air holes. So he's all good there and you just carry him on your back like a backpack. Next, I've got all of Marshall's favorite toys on the table. These are some of the toys that he likes to play with. Here are some toys that balance. So he really enjoys these. 
as you can see this mouse is extremely worn out he loves it he is crazy for this toy this is probably his absolute favorite <laughs> next we've got some balls so just a regular ball that he likes to chase around the apartment and play with it like soccer it's very adorable he's got a robot fish when you put this robot fish in the water, it starts to swim and he really likes to catch this and try to use his paw to get it out of the water. He's got a laser, laser. So when you press a button, the light will shine. It's really hard to see right now in the daytime, but he also really loves the laser. And here are a bunch of his soft toys. So this is just like a soft stuffed animal. Another little one here. And feathers. Cats love to play with feathers. Let's go around the house and look at some of Marshall's other belongings, like where he sleeps and goes to the washroom. Take a look at his cat tower. He can climb on the tower, he can jump on it. Here is a pom-pom, pom-pom. It dangles. So something that is just hanging like this, we can say that it dangles. He loves to play with it. He loves to go inside the house. And here is where he can scratch his nails. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's really really important for cats to have scratchers so that they can practice just some of their regular behaviors that cats like to do one of those is scratching their nails where does your cat like to sleep sometimes cats sleep anywhere but their bed here is marshall's bed and inside, he's got a blanket. All right, guys, and last but not least is how a cat goes to the washroom. This is called the litter box. Litter box. And inside is litter. Litter can be made of different materials. The litter that I use for Marshall is made out of grass. Here are some of the other things I use. I've got the scoop to clean his litter box. We've got some of these bags. These can just be called the doggy bags. Here we can see they're called pet waste bags. And lastly, I've got some baking soda. This helps to control odor. Odor is another word for smell. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining us here today for another lesson on my channel, English with Katerina. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss new lessons coming out every week. We can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.